Okay, so here's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to bind uh, the mesh with the uh, rig here and uh, we're gonna see how that looks. So we click on the, bot the root and we click on the body builder and then we go to skin, bind skin and option box. And these uh, are the options that you should have set um, geodesic voxel is the best one. It's pretty new, I think, as of like 2012. Not sure exactly. Uh, it guesses the weights pretty well, um, and it takes a little bit more time, but it's worth it. So it's doing its thing. Do, 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 do. All right, so there we go. Okay, <clears throat> so let's check it out. See how it looks. Oh, you'll also notice that the colors uh, have changed, which means that the um, the rig is uh, bound to the mesh. So if we move this here, we can see that the arm is moving around. We can also see that there are some issues with weighting, and this is a very typical issue um, with initial weighting. Hard to avoid um, this particular issue. Um, let's check some other things. Click on this guy. He's moving. That's moving good. Uh, we check on the neck. That's looking pretty good. There we go. Oh. On there, yep, oh, that looks pretty good. Uh, let's see, let's try the leg. That's pretty good. You'll see that this might be a little bit off uh, on the top of the leg also. It'll tend to go in just a little bit, making it a little bit thin. Uh, there's ways to fix that. The leg, if we, uh, if we bend the knee, you'll notice that there's some funky things going on with that shin. There's ways to fix that weighting. And the foot, same thing with the ankle, that can be fixed. And then the toe. I'm not going to go fully into all the things that you can do with waiting um, because the goal is just to get it right into Unreal. Now, the other thing, too, is uh, after we went through all of that work, you're going to hate me for saying, but we're not going to use this rig. And the reason for that is, is because I wanted to show you guys uh, how to uh, make a rig all from scratch. Uh, so, but the rig that we're going to use is from an exported, uh, the exported robot character from Unreal. So we have Bodybuilder Rigging 2. We're going to load up that um, exported character. And the reason why we're using it is because you never know what you could do uh, incorrectly. You might name something incorrectly, and then you'd have to search for what that name was. So it saves a whole lot of trouble if you just actually use the rig from um, Unreal. So I'm going to load that one up, and here is the robot from Unreal. It's very well modeled, nice, very nice character. It uh, and here is the uh, the rig. Uh, the whole thing is actually um, all in one uh, transform, very nicely organized. Here's all the LODs and everything. So um, you'll also notice that it has these little guys. This is uh, pro uh, programmatically created. Um, and we're going to get rid of some of those. First off, we're going to delete this beautiful model. So we get rid of that. And then we'll get rid of these guys and these guys. And we're left with this. So let's look over here. We have all that. That's good. Uh, you also notice the names are very similar to the ones that we used um, in the last video. But it says spine underscore zero one. And the upper arm, uh, it'll say like, uh, underscore L uh, instead of capital L underscore. Uh, so, you know, it's whatever, a lot of your own personal preference, what you want. So let's see here. Let's also, while we're at it, let's make these guys a little bit smaller uh, so that when we actually go to move them around, it'll look a little bit better. So what I did there uh, to make those bones smaller, as I clicked on the hand, but I didn't just click on the hand, I clicked on the whole thing. So I affected each bone and I went to radius and from three, I changed it to one. Right, so <clears throat> we're going to um, import our character. So I go to import, I uh, find the character and it was bodybuilder for rigging two. Import him and you'll see that he is a lot smaller here. So there's the size differential. Uh, what we'll do is we're going to um, unbind the, I need to do that, 
going to unbind that rig. We're going to get rid of that rig we spent so much hard time working on. And uh, let's see, get rid of that too. Uh, now we're going to take this guy and look at it in the front view. This is one of the reasons why I had uh, uh, had us um, put the center point right down at the bottom so it's easier to scale them up. So scale them up. Magic growth pills and x-ray joints. Turn off the grid. All right, so let's get him so that that those shoulders are in the right spot. All right, that is good enough. So now what we need to do is we need to make sure that these um, these joints uh, work together with the mesh that we have. So we're going to rotate them, these arms, get them in the right spot. If I select both of these arms up here, um, I can just uh, hit E for rotate and then rotate them in just like so. You know, I don't know if the character is, that's a good spot for him. Maybe we'll make him a little bit smaller. Yeah, that's better. All right. That looks a little bit better. Good. Okay. I just compliment myself. Way to go. All right, so now we have this and we're gonna rotate these guys, these guys in a little bit. Uh, you notice there are also some other little um, things that uh, Unreal added. Um, some of these twist uh, joints, and that works uh, well with the engine. Um, so we're not going to worry too much about that or why. I'm going to take these two legs. I selected the top, the thigh, and I'm just rotating them outward. All right, good enough. Now, uh, I'm going to select some other ones, move them around, move his neck up just a little bit, move the head up just a little bit, and then I'm going to look on the side. Uh, now on the side, we see some other things that are a little bit off. Uh, a lot of these things are too far forward. So what I'll do is I'll select, uh, I'll do a marquee and just select this bone here, but you'll notice I'm selecting both feet. That way I get them both at the same time. I'm moving back there. Uh, let's see. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to move some other stuff. Move this knee. Move this knee back like that. And then I'm going to select this ankle. Move that forward a little. The ball of the foot. Move that forward a little. And move these little guys forward too, just like that. Select this one. Still selecting both of them. Uh, other things that we need to think about is uh, the placement of the spine. So the spine isn't necessarily in the spot that we want it at. <clears throat> so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to turn on Preserve Children just so that I can move this one. I'm going to move it more into the center of the mass of the body. So I'm doing that with a bunch of them. And these are individual bones. I don't have to worry about moving two. Uh, the clavicle, I selected both of them. I'm going to move that back just a little bit. Uh, the head, I'm going to move that forward a little. Uh, and let's see here. And the root over here, I think I'm going to move that back a little. Move that back over there. Click on, oop, no, I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on this. There we go. Move that back a little as well. That selected. Move that back a little. And let's see if that knee is in the right spot. I think the knees could go down. So with that, I selected one with a marquee and I selected the other with a marquee, but I held down shift and control. That got both of them at the same time. Go back into right view, move it down. Just a little bit like that. Okay. And select this one. No, oh, that's all right anyways. Okay, so we have that set. Now the only thing that's left is the hands are in the wrong spot. <clears throat> These guys, I'm going to have to oops, turn back on preserved children or turn it off. 
and then move this kind of where the wrist is going to go. Now, we're not going to care too much about um, uh, setting these uh, exactly right yet, because what we want to do first is make sure that everything is going to load into Unreal. <clears throat> Unreal can be rather finicky when it comes to um, how uh, the rigs are set up. And um, move that out just a little bit. OK, so we have that all set. Oop, our feet need to be a little cheated out. All right. Good. <clears throat> OK, so we're set there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select the mannequin. Oh, we're going to select the root. We're going to select the bodybuilder character. Then we're going to go over here to skin, bind skin, make sure everything's OK the way we want it to, bind the skin up. OK, so there we go. Now we have the guy all set. Let's move it around. Still have that issue. We're going to fix that soon. And everything is moving. He's moving right. Looks good. Check out these legs. Do, oh, it's not a chicken. There we go. Okay, and feet. Looks all right. Okay, so now we want to test it, make sure that it works in Unreal. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save this out as uh, video Unreal uh, character test score one. So we have that guy set. Now what we'll do is we'll select the guy, we'll select SK Mannequin, and that's uh, control clicked over there. We'll go to File, go to Export Selection, and then we're going to call this Video Unreal, I already have one down there, Video Unreal Character uh, Test 2. And um, it's, as, it's selected or exported as FBX. So you have it there if you haven't used FBX export, which I think most of you guys have. You can use just the FBX export. You're not going to use the DAE FBX, so FBX export. And these guys should be all set. Uh, export selection, <clears throat> it does its thing. And we'll hide that. We'll load up Unreal Engine. We'll ponder, ponder the infinities, staring into the abyss. All right, and so I have a little character test uh, project uh, that I use for this, and we'll let that load up. Boy, the abyss sure is dark. And here we go. OK, so now in your content browser, uh, you're going to go to uh, Mannequin, Character, and Mesh. And that's where the character exists. There's the UE4 mannequin. Um, and we're going to import our character. And because we used the same one, and I'll have to make sure, what did we call it? We called it Unreal Character, uh, Video Unreal Character Test 2. Open. Uh, and we're going to keep the skeleton at UE Mannequin Skeleton. Make sure use TO as ref pose. And everything should be all good here. We might get a little error here. There we go. Uh, is missing bone. So that's probably the one that we saw that we had deleted. Um, but it um, Unreal will uh, put those bones in for you. Uh, no problem. Click OK. Turn that off. We have our new character in there. He's right over there. I'm going to click on the robot. And then we're going to go down here uh, in the details section, where it's at SK Mannequin. And we're going to change it to the new one that we just brought in. So Video Unreal Character Test 2. There's our guy there. And we can see him over there. We're going to uh, see what happens when we run him. And there we go. And he's running around. So it's really as easy as that. You can see some issues um, with his uh, with the uh, 
with him running around like uh, between his legs there's some issues with um, with the weights that are not correct and if he uh, raised his arms those would be issues you'll also notice that because he's imported uh, from um, from Maya um, and we had him in subdiv surfaces uh, Unreal doesn't care about subdivs so we see him as the uh, non subdiv surface and we could go into Maya, we could smooth them out, um, but we would have to unbind the skeleton or unbind the rig. Um, but I don't think that we're gonna do that. Uh, it's unnecessary at the moment. What I do wanna show you is how to adjust uh, the weights. So what we'll do here is we're gonna go back into Maya and we have our character here. Um, now let's see, so here are, uh, here's the current situation with the weights um, and let's see here oh um, another thing too is if we do smooth him out um, we will run into issues with um, more uh, uh, we'll have we'll have some more uh, weighting issues because the more verts that you have there oftentimes uh, the more possibilities uh, we'll have for weighting problems <clears throat> All right, so in the next video, we're going to show how to adjust the weights.